fifth grade standards often ask children to find a fraction that is equivalent to a percent, find a fraction that is equivalent to a decimal. Let's start with a percent. Percent means an amount out of 100. And children might see it as a fraction 40 out of 100, or they may see it as 40 percent. Both of these numbers mean the same thing. To change a percent back to a fraction, they want to make the relationship. It means something out of 100. 40 out of 100 is 40 percent. This fraction has to be reduced. 40 and 100 have something that is in common, a common factor. Now we could start with two, but that's not the greatest common factor. Let's think what numbers could reduce 40 and 100. I know that 20 times 2 is 40. I know 20 times 5 is 100. So I'm going to use my greatest common factor of 20 to reduce my fraction. 20 will go into 40 two times. 20 will go into 100 five times. I now have simplified my percentage of 40 to a fraction 40 over 100, reduced my fraction, and now I have my equivalent fraction in lowest terms, the children will be asked, or to simplify. We know that this fraction is in lowest terms because there is nothing common to the numerator or the denominator except